Hey YouTube, today I have a package sent to me by a company called Poacher. So it's a HDMI to lightning cable. Let's open and see how it works. They sent it to me in a large bubble wrap package. Inside the package I had the small box and on top of the box it says lightning to HDMI and on the bottom it says video and charge plug and play and it also mentions that it's two meters long. There is a QR code I'll get to that later and it does not have any branding on the package. On the side it mentions that it works with the iPhone 5, 6 and 7 series, the iPad Air Mini and Pro and also the iPod Touch 5th generation. In this video I'll be using the iPhone XS Max which came out last week and is the latest offering by Apple. On the other side it says that it charges while using it, it displays a maximum of 1080p, it has 8 channel audio which I'm not very sure about and again that it's 2 meters long. Inside the box we have the cable itself, no other instruction manuals. On one end we have the HDMI, on the other end we have the lightning and 2 meters away from these we have the USB. On your TV or monitor plug the USB end into the USB port, the HDMI into the HDMI port and finally the lightning into your iPhone. You can plug the USB end to the power adapter or a power bank as well. Turning the TV on, it says phone link and then displays a QR code. Scanning the QR code, you get pushed to the Apple App Store and it asks you to install an app. The name of the app is Dronecast, so install the app. Once installed, it gives you this panel. I don't really know what it means. I'm pretty sure it's not the iPhone versions because I'm using the iPhone XS Max. So let's go back into the TV. At the bottom of the QR code in the TV, we have a bunch of numbers and towards the end it says LG009. So let's look for LG009 on this app. You can't see it clearly, so I'll put a screenshot and zoom it in. If you look at the last button on this, it says LG009 V001. It's the closest that you can find to what's on the TV. So I'm going to click on it and hit on update and then next. It does its thing. So on the screen you can see it's preparing to upgrade and that it's upgrading. Make sure you do not disconnect the phone or power off the TV while this is being done. Once the update is complete it will ask you to trust this device. So I click on yes and voila the phone screen is being mirrored on the TV now. Apple with Siri and Apple Home, Google with OK Google and Google Home, Microsoft is just wasting their time on Cortana, and Amazon has Alexa. Hold on a second. There is a lag between what's playing on the phone and what's on the TV. There is an audio lag as well. But when playing YouTube videos, this sometimes happens on the Apple TV as well. Okay, if you have one of these nearby now, now is a good time to put them on mute because I'll be using them quite a bit during this video. You can also play games using this. As you can see, I'm quite addicted to the Angry Birds match game now and I'm at level 488. I'm sure games in the landscape mode will look better on this. Apple Music doesn't work on this. Apple prevents you from doing that. I'm sure Netflix, Amazon Prime and Sky would prevent you from doing this as well. As you saw, the movie from Bobby Movies plays fine and there is no lag at all. As for the practicality of this cable and your reasons for buying it, I think it has two major competitors, one the Chromecast and two the Apple TV. Both of these are wireless. The Apple TV is comparatively expensive and it's pretty bulky to carry around. The Chromecast is slightly more expensive but most of the apps from your iPhone will not work on it. This cable is a tiny thing to carry around. When you're on a trip and you're bored in your hotel room, you can plug your phone to the TV and watch a movie on it. If you're in a presentation, you can connect this to the projector or the display of the meeting room to do your slideshow from here. All things considered, for £15, I think it's a reasonable purchase. It might not appeal to everyone, 
but I think it definitely fills some gaps that the Chromecast or the Apple TV leave behind. If you're interested in buying this, I'll leave the link in the description. Thanks for watching, take care.